Today we're going to be working with the weight slider and polishing off the armor for its final production. The contents of this tutorial are fairly simple and straightforward, but uh, do follow along because when we actually get done with creating the weight slider, we're going to have to get into NIF scope. Hopefully we'll have enough time in this tutorial. If not, it'll be in the next. And when we get there, we're going to polish off the armors and working in NIF scope is going to be a new program. Uh, so that you're not familiar with and we're going to do a little setting up to get textures to also to appear in NIF scope. Uh, we're going to get uh, that see-through skirt issue taken care of and if you had any texture issues with the armor or with the body that you've decided to use throughout the course of this tutorial it should fix the texture issues uh, there as well. So to start we're going to go up to the 3DS symbol. We're going to go down to import. We're going to go to our folder structure UMP custom armors. Go to data, meshes, armor, hide, female, test 3. Uh, once you get to test 3, you're going to want to go ahead and select curious light underscore 0 and press open. Make sure all your settings are identical to the settings you see on my screen and go ahead and click import. As soon as you've imported, you should see the uh, model identical to what I have on my screen. This is what we've been working with. We're going to move this uh, window open to give us a bigger perspective window. Remember, you just left click in between all four windows until you get the plus sign and uh, drag it over. Okay, as soon as I've taken care of that, one thing to note is this UMP body may have gotten screwed up or the body that you've been working with may have been screwed up throughout the uh, importing and exporting and tweaking with the armor. So what we're going to have to do is get rid of this body and re-import a fresh version. Remember, we've done this in the past. This is because now we're actually going to finalize the production of this armor. We're going to create a weight slider. So we can't have any additional vertices on this body when we import the larger body. Uh, so select the body by left-clicking anywhere on the arm and delete it. And then go up and click on the 3DS symbol. Go to Import. Uh, use your drop down window, go to our UMP custom armors, go to data, meshes, base body mesh, and select female body zero. And go ahead and select open. Uh, we already have a skeleton, so we don't want to import the skeleton again. So go ahead and deselect import skeleton and select import. Now our new, uh, our new version of the uh, UMP body is in there, our clean, <coughs> sorry, our fresh version of the UMP body that we know hasn't been screwed up has been imported. We're going to add a smooth modifier to this so it doesn't create uh, any additional vertices. So with the UMP body selected, go up next to create and select modify. This gets us our elements window. Go to the editable mesh and select editable mesh by left clicking on it. See it drops down. No big deal. It'll come back up. Drop down your modifier list. Scroll down till you find smooth. Select smooth and then select 2. Alright, with that taken care of, now we're ready to go ahead and get this armor prepared for a weight slider version. Now a lot of times when you export a mesh where the vertices have not been welded, you're going to run into issues. So this is always the last step you do when you're ready to create the weight slider and you're happy with the way the armor moves with the bones. This is always one of the last things you do. Uh, so now we're going to select the armor we're going to go to the editable mesh, then we're going to select vertex. Once you have vertex selected, you're going to zoom all the way out. You're going to drag by left clicking using your select and then drag over, select all the vertices. And then over here in the weld section, you're going to spam this selected button until a window pops up. So I'm going to hit it once, no window. Hit it tw twice, ah, there's the window. It says weld no vertices within weld threshold. That means nothing else needs uh, welded. And then select OK. Now that we're done with that, we're going to add a smooth modifier to this armor so no additional vertices are created upon export. So go ahead and with this still selected, do your drop down, go to smooth, scroll down, select smooth, and then select 2. Alright, now we're ready to export this version and then we're going to create a scalable version of this armor for the Skyrim engine. Let's go ahead and uh, you know, deselect everything by hitting create. Go up to the upper left hand corner and select export. Uh, go to our UMP customs folder, UMP custom armors, data, meshes, armor, hide, female. This time we're going to create a new folder. We go to 
uh, right click and then go to new folder and type in final and then click to name it. Uh, we want to get the name for the file so as save as type before going into final uh, drop that down go to uh, Netimmerse Gamebryo a NIF file get the name in your file name by clicking on the name and then go into final and save it in final make sure all your settings are identical to the ones you see on my screen if any of these settings are not the same make sure you set yours up uh, to be the same as mine and weld vertices we've already taken care of this but I always delete these three just as a safety precaution you don't want any chance that a vertice is going to weld so delete all those three and select export after just a moment it'll export the armor now we're ready to add in the larger version of the body so we're going to select the body and we're going to delete it alright now we're going to go up to the 3DS uh, symbol and you're going to go to import and you're going to uh, go to our file structure UMP custom armors data meshes base body mesh and this time we've always selected zero because that's the small body this time we're actually going to select female body big underscore one that's the big body Skyrim's engine selects uh, with the weight slider zero is underscore zero and the largest 100 percent body size is underscore one when people select the weight version say at 50 percent it'll the game engine will find a scale between zero and one it'll just say okay this is this big zero is this big one is this big 50 should be this big so we're gonna scale up the armor much like you would scale a mesh that's all the uh, game engine does and that's the concept of a weight slider uh, so select female body underscore one and select open we already have a skeleton so we do not want to import a skeleton so make sure that's unchecked make sure all your settings are the same and then select import now we have a big body and if you'll notice immediately the big body has boobs poking through doesn't matter what version of body you get usually the boobs will poke through and the butt will be poking through the back and the legs sometimes come through the side now to work with this better what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead select the big body we're gonna go up into the modify pane we're gonna go to editable mesh with the body selected notice it moved a little don't worry about that use the modifier list drop it down and select smooth just like we would with the small body moves back into place we're gonna select two and then we're gonna deselect this body by selecting create or you can just click somewhere on the screen it'll deselect it now we're gonna select the hide armor and make this new this hide armor fit the new body how to, how to do that, we're going to go up to Modify with the uh, armor selected. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do this, deselect by clicking anywhere. Select the big body, right-click on it, and go up to Freeze Selection. There we go. Now it's frozen. You can see the boobies and all the parts sticking through. All right, now we're going to select the uh, hide armor. We're going to go down uh, to the editable mesh. It, uh, remember if you don't have this screen you just gotta go next to create select modify that will give you these elements select editable mesh and now with uh, if vertices were not selected go ahead and select vertices and click on the screen so we deselect any of them that were selected alright now you want to zoom in and remember we have our all our little tools to make this fit this body like we did with the smaller body when we did it from vanilla to UMP so go ahead and drop down soft selection right here in the uh, options then select use soft selection and go ahead and let's set this to a 10 alright 10 should be good to start with and fall off alright now we're gonna right click anywhere in the perspective window and select move okay now I've noticed that there's uh, you know there's vertices anywhere and we can start moving them to fit them around the body but we kind of want to move a bunch otherwise this is going to look all dinged up let's say we move this out a little bit then we got to move this out a little bit but they're not going to be asymmetrical to one another so I like to work starting off in the left frame with my perspective window facing the front of the um, the front of the body so working in the left pane we're going to use the middle mouse button to better position by the boobs 
Then we're going to zoom in with the scroll wheel, kind of position a little more with the middle mouse button held down, zoom in. All right, now we're going to select by left clicking in the view pane, drag it over, select, uh, you know, some vertices near the boob, you know, and just release there. Okay, so we can see that it needs to come out, so we're going to go ahead and use this X right here, and we're going to pull it out some. If you notice, now it's moving everything in the front, so we don't have to worry about missing something. And kind of take it out to where it's just in front of the nip, you know, just next to the nipples. All right, with those vertices still selected, in uh, right click in the perspective window so you don't deselect, and then right click again and select scale. Now we're going to scale it outward so it better fits this section of the boob. So we're going to, on the X pane, we're just going to scale it out a little bit. Alright, you know, just a little bit, just enough. And if, uh, looks like it could come down a little, so we're going to right click, select move, and I like to do this in the left pane. I'm going to right click in the left pane so I don't deselect anything. And then I'm going to left click on Y and move it down a little bit. See, now I'm getting a little closer to the boob, fitting it in a little better. Right, that's pretty close to where I could move some vertices individually, you know, uh, using a soft selection rather than having all these reds selected from this pane. Uh, so now I'm going to come in, you know, using my middle mouse button, select, uh, you know, a vertice near the boob, and I'm still set to 10 so in my soft selection, so it's selecting all around the boob. And on the X, Y plane, I'm going to left click that and just kind of drag it out to where I don't see white anymore. I'm going to move with the little cubicle to this side, try to find a vertice near the problem areas, select it so I have everything kind of highlighted. On the XY plane, I'm just going to make sure they're both highlighted and kind of drag that out a little bit by left clicking and moving it. All right. Boob looks like it's pretty good inside the armor. You know, it doesn't look like uh, any part of the boob is sticking through anymore pretty well fit. Uh, down here I see a little white, so you know, this is just one small part, so I can probably do this by itself. But you know, if I look real close, here in the hip area, this armor is kind of clashing inside of the belly. So, like I said, if I have to move multiple parts to kind of bring them out, uh, I'm going to go ahead in the left pane so I you know, don't bang up the armor and make it look like someone took a hammer to it. And, uh, you know, this is kind of near the hip. This is right in this area in the left pane. I'm just going to use the selection tool by left clicking off to the side, drag it over till I get some of the vertices close to the problem area, release, and then just move it out by clicking the X, Y plane and dragging. See, now I'm not in the belly anymore. This is, uh, this is all about just, you know, going around the armor, moving vertices out from the body anywhere I see where it's looks like it's, you know, colliding with the body like looks like right here by the hip it's colliding so I'm going to select the vertice near the problem area and just move it away from the body a little bit you know so it's not doing that anymore and you just kind of go all around the armor look for these problems where it's colliding with the body and just move it out from the body a little bit we're just fitting the new armor uh, the new body inside of the armor I have a problem, it's on both sides I can see of this and also both sides here, so I'd rather do it in the left window so I can select vertices clear across the body. So I'm going to drag, and it looks like it's no, it looks like it's right about here. Drag and select. Okay, yeah, I can see that I have that area selected. And I'm going to use the X pane uh, plane and drag it out to where I don't see that white anymore. Alright, and then the same thing by the butt. Right here we can see, and if you look real close, you can actually see the gray by the white. You can see right where it's coming through. So when I just drag over, select all of that, and you know pull that out until it's not colliding. Maybe select it a little bit higher, you know, and pull all of that out. Hmm. Still need to get it right here. So I'm gonna just it's pretty close now to where I want it. I'm just gonna zoom in, select something near the problem area and on the XY plane drag it out so I'll do the same thing on the other side. 